Hello Cyberland my friend, this is Marlin, the channel's old fart hacks, and what we're looking at right here is the screw, uh, the Y-axis screw out of this little Chinese thingy here, this XY table. Oh, that was a mistake. Let's see if I can get this back down now. Um, anyway, edges. Notice one thing, this is the lower bearing race. I can't even pull it off. Why? Burrs. So let's look at deburring this little part a bit. As others have said of these, I know, don't drag the file backwards, Marlin. That's what my shop teacher taught me 50 years ago. Actually, more like 55 or 60. I don't know, 50 at least. Yeah, 55. 57 maybe, I don't know, something like that. More than a week. Anyway, still not great. Let's get another little file in here. Clearly, the giant, oh yeah, more rust there. Lovely. Hard to see, I know, on camera. Hard actually to see in real life, but even more so on camera. There are two reasons for doing this, by the way. One is to get the bearing race on and off, but the other one is to make the key fit properly. And there it now will go in smoothly. Okay. It's tight, which is a good thing. You want these to be tight. So let's see if the bearing race will come off now. No, they've even still got that messed up just enough right through there. So much fun. I'm going to keep this, these videos quite short because, frankly, I get bored and you guys get bored. And Heaven knows if I don't try and keep them short, they run out to three or four hours and then everybody goes to sleep and no one has any good time. Ah, there we go. I may chuck this up on the lathe and give it a light clean few thousandths would do, like one. Much better. You can even see where it's hanging up. At least I can. It's right there. And of course, when we put these things together at the factory, they just wham them together. Because after all, the little Chinese dude is working on piecework. Every one he makes, he gets paid 15 cents for, 12 cents for, or whatever. And so to him, quality is not an issue. Quantity is. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Anyway, as I said, this is a screw for this thing. Is it going to have a lot of backlash? Most of the backlash will end up being more in the and the handle end than anywhere else. So, again, the setup is, yeah, inside the housing, we have the race with a ball groove here. Yeah, that's much better. And this bolts down, so this way, going that way is held in, but is this above or below the surface? Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, it's a few thousands below the surface, so that gives a little bit of slop right there. And then on the other side, you have the stack up here with the knob, which also has, but basically you have the this plate trap between a bearing here and a bearing here. 
and then that gives you your control left and right of a slop and that's going to require tuning and that'll be yet another video because again I have to learn as I go along and that's a long process so I'm going to keep it short and keep it sweet and keep it simple the next time I do this I'll show you what I did but I won't make you watch the whole process because although I'm evil I'm not that evil so I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later Bye.